Let's go to this one. All right, so what if I have a 100 pound block on this 45 degree, it looks like a pretty steep incline, okay? And it starts from rest, I'm, I'm pulling up with a 50 pound force. There's kind of a couple of scenarios here. Maybe the friction is large enough that it doesn't move anywhere, right? Or maybe it's going up the incline. Or maybe it's going down the incline. I, I don't know, right? And also, I'm given the mu s is 0.25, the mu k is 0.15. Find the acceleration, if any, of the block. What do I want to do? I want to assume no slipping. Assume no slipping. So I'm just going to draw the free body diagram on top of here. There's my N. There's my weight of 100. And the weight is just 100. And then I've got the force of friction. Even though it's not slipping, not moving, it's not moving. Right in this scenario, it's... That block is not moving at all. I'm assuming it's not moving. There's still friction. What direction is it? It's, it's either up the incline or down the incline. It opposes the impending motion. It opposes the motion that it's about to go. Which motion is it about to go? I'm going to just guess for a second. I don't know. Maybe this 50-pound this force is large enough I think it's going to go up the incline. So I'm going to put my force of friction down the incline. I, I, no, I don't think it's going to go up. I think it's about to go up. I think it's impending motion is up. All right, so let us, there's my free body diagram. I don't think I forgot any forces. Got that 50 pound force right here. Uh, and let me sum the forces in X and Y. I like to sum the forces in the direction of the acceleration. Here, there's no acceleration, but I think it makes sense. Many of my axes, many of my forces are along these axes. I'm going to rotate my axes. Sum the forces in the X direction. 50 minus force of friction. Notice I'm not putting mu K in. I'm not putting mu S in. I'm just putting FF because I'm assuming no slipping, and it could be from any, it could be zero all the way up to the maximum. Uh, here's my slope angle. So uh, minus 100 sine 45 equals MA. But if I'm assuming no slipping, that A is zero. So the force of friction would be negative 20.7 pounds. Why, why did I get a negative? Yeah, it, but I just drew it the wrong direction. Many times, if you draw force of friction the wrong direction, your answer will come out negative and you'll realize, oh, I drew it the wrong direction. And, and mathematically, why is it the wrong direction? Because this 100 sine 45 is larger than the 50. So the, the force pulling it down is beating the force pulling it up. So its impending motion is down. So I should have drawn my force of friction up. All right, so force of friction is really 20.7 up because its impending motion is down. All right, but I need to check, is that 20.7 possible? Is that, what's the maximum? Mu S times N, I haven't found N yet, so let me find N, some of the force in Y. N minus 100 cosine 45 equals MA. Is there accel any acceleration in the Y? No, N is 70.7, so the maximum would be mu s n would be 0 0.25, 70.7, 17.6 is the maximum. All right, so what happened? I need a force of 20.7 in order for my assumption to be correct. The maximum, though, can only get up to 17.6, so... It is slipping. It is slipping. And I know that it's slipping down, right? I learned, right? Learn what you can. 
on that. I know it is slipping down. All right. I'm not going to try to redraw everything, but now I've got a free body diagram and I know it is slipping. So now if I sum the forces in the X, you know, we can, we can look at that uh, equation or just look at the free body diagram again. Uh, summing the force in X, I would still have 50. Uh, I would have minus the force of friction. And now I know the force of friction is 0.15. And double check, but I think that N would stay the same, right? That Y equation would stay the same. It is still, even though it is slipping, it's still not, not in the Y direction, right? So I could rewrite the Y equation, but the Y equation would still give me an N of 70.7. Oh, sorry. This, though, I know it is going up the incline. I know it's going up the incline. All right, but the 100 sine 45 equals mass. Be careful. That 100 is the weight. So divide by 32.2 times the acceleration in the X. Acceleration in the X, negative 3.25 feet per second squared. What does that negative mean? That negative means it is in the negative x direction, which, yeah. Which makes sense, which I knew. Okay. So, you know, be careful, but many times you can reuse equations you've already used, like this y equation right here. It still is n, it's still minus 100 cosine 45, it still is equal to zero, it still is n is equal to 70.7. But my x equation, I would redo my x equation now knowing that the force of friction is mu k times n. All 